Hey y'all, this is Teresa from Streetfield Ridge Farm. Got to tell you about an incident that has happened to me several times now. And um, got a grandson in here with me. <laughs> um, sit down. We've just been through an incident that's bothering me and has bothered me for a while now. And, um, and I want to talk about it and I want some input. <clears throat> I want some input. I want to know what to do about it. Has anybody had this happen and need uh, and have uh, answers as to what they've done about it? Uh, yes, I'm driving and videoing. <laughs> but I have the video. I've got both hands on the wheel. I have the video, uh, the, my phone sitting on the steering wheel. I'm in Lee's truck. Um, yes. And... Uh, <laughs> So, uh, several times, this has happened, this is about the fifth, at least the fifth time. It's about a cat. So, we have um, feral cats at our property. We have, I call them barn cats because we used to have barns. We've tore most of the barns now, now down. Now we have a couple of sheds out there and uh, we have cats that run around out there uh, we have farm animals. We have farm animals, so we have a lot of feed. And I like having the cats because they uh, keep the mice population like almost nothing. Every once in a great while we'll see a mouse, but very, very seldom. And uh, so I like having the cats. They are feral. A lot of them we can't get a hold of. Some of them we have tamed and been able to pet and get a hold of. We have one in the house right now that I tamed and ended up taking her in the house. Uh, but most of them run around out there and we can't really uh, get a hold of them and control them. And we can't get them fixed because we can't get a hold of them. This is not the problem. I ain't got to the problem yet, y'all. Um, I don't mind that. But the kittens come and go. We will have two or three uh, litters of kittens every year. But we really, um, I don't know if coyotes get them or they get down by the road or what happens to them. <laughs> I do know what's happened to some of them because that's the problem that I'm fixing to talk to you about. Um, we usually end up with just a couple of new ones every year. Out of two or three litters, we will end up with two or three new cats. And they come and go. They just come and go. Um, the males will start fighting and then run some of the males off or whatever happens to them all. Um, and I hate that. I hate that they come and go all the time like they do. Uh, because I'm afraid that some of them get killed, but there's really not a lot we can do about that. Um, uh, because we, you know, we're way out in the country, and there's coyotes, and there's uh, there's dogs, and there's uh, uh, the road, you know, down by the road. I know that some of them, a few of them, have gotten down there and got killed. But um, <clears throat> we don't have a garage. We park our car in the driveway in our truck. The truck and my little car. My little car is way low to the ground. Um, and over the past, I'm gonna say five years, over the past five years, kittens have gotten up in my car and gotten packed off. We know of a couple that have gotten in my car and went to somebody else's house somehow. Just rode in my car um, to somebody else's house or all the way to my work. I work 30 minutes away. And I have had one situation where um, I went to work and I was at work all day long inside and when I left work that afternoon, I could hear a kitten crying and started searching and it was up in the hood of my car. It was hard to um, That happened one time. And then another time, 
a kitten had got up in my car and obviously I went to work and I left work at lunch and went to the AT&T store, uh, cell phone store, AT&T. And uh, while I was at the AT&T store, um, somebody come in and said they heard a kitten crying and I went, oh no. And I went out and sure enough, it was a kitten up in the hood of my car, in the engine there. Um, so, um, <laughs> that had happened several times. And then a few other times that kittens got packed off to somebody else's house. And then we would find out it was our kitten, like happened when Buddy and Lippy moved up here. And one of our kittens got packed off over to their house in my, probably in my car. It might not have been in my car. It might have been in somebody else's vehicle. We don't know for sure. But I had been, I kept saying, and, and I have, and I'm just going to say it and put it out there. I have killed several by them getting in my car. And then I go flying down the road and a kitten falls out and gets killed. And that's happened several times. And that really hurts me. It really breaks my heart and hurts. And uh, so I have been fussing about my car being so low to the ground that I felt like they were crawling up in my car because it was so low to the ground, okay? And it usually happened in the winter time, but not always. Sometimes it's in the summertime, like today. I got a kitty right here. So, <laughs> so today, I drove Lee's truck to work because my car is on the blink. Kitty. I drove Lee's <laughs> truck to work, y'all. And I've been at work all day. I come out of work just now, just a little bit ago, I come out of work because my grandson needed to be taken to a ball game. He's dressed for a ball game. We've got to go take him to a ball game. And we come out, I come out of work to meet my daughter and get my grandson. And we heard a kitten crying. And as soon as I heard the kitten crying, I went, oh no, not again. And sure enough, there is a kitten. We like to never caught it because it was scared. And it's one of the wild ones and it was scared to death. And um, so, we have a little black kitten in the back. <clears throat> and uh, been there all day long. There it is. Yep, he got it. There it's the kitten. Has been at my work under my truck all day long. Luckily, now I'm going to name it Lucky. You know, I'm going to name it Lucky for sure. I had named it. Now its name is Lucky because it is lucky that it made it all the way 30 minutes away to my work. <laughs> it's not very happy. I'm sure it's, uh, we gave it a drink, but it's not drinking. Probably wants its mama. <sighs> but it is so frustrating. And this is in the truck in the summertime so it's not about the cold it's not about the car being low to the ground that might be it sometimes it's a but definitely not this cold. time this time what's the problem i think cats like cars i i guess do y'all have this problem somebody reach out to me and let me know do you have this problem do you even have feral maybe you don't even have feral cats and don't have to worry about that barn cats. I call them barn cats because we used to have several big barns and and they used to get in there. Uh, the barns are all gone. We just have a couple of sheds now and they get out there. Um, and when the mamas bring them up to wean them is when this happens. The mamas bring them up to eat and wean them and that's when they get in the vehicles uh, there's nowhere else for us to park, so that's not a problem. Um, I, I just don't even know what to do about it. So, if anybody has any suggestions or questions, please reach out in the comments and let me know if this has happened to you, what you think I could do about it. Um, I, I don't want to get rid of all the cats at all. Not at all. I don't want to get rid of them all, you know, and... Uh, 
spaying it, neutering, that would be great, but that's not an option because we can't catch most of them. Now, maybe we could try to catch them all and take them and have them spayed and neutered. I don't, I don't know, but that would be, I don't know, maybe, but that would be awful hard because there's about 10 but right I now. One. There's about 10 right now. So we would have to catch all 10 of them and that would cost a whole lot of money. So, I don't know. I don't know. We, um, I'm at wit's end over it because it breaks my heart. At least this one, this Lucky, Lucky got lucky and survived it. And a few others have survived it, but not all of them. I know. Put her down. Just put her down. She's scared. So, there you go. There's my dilemma and my heartbreak and if anybody has any 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 suggestions or questions of, of where we park and where we feed them and what I don't, I don't know I don't know what to say what could possibly be causing this to happen so much to me I don't know how many kittens that I've packed off about this will be about the fifth time that I know of. And then how many have died in the road, fallen out from under my car? I know of three. How many do I not know of, right? So anyway, somebody's going to give me a hard time over this, I know. Please, if you've got ugly comments, just don't leave them. Because I know that it's bad. <laughs> I know it's a bad situation, and I know somebody's going to say, oh, gather them all up, spay and neuter them. Well, that's a lot easier to say than to do when they're feral cats. And we could possibly catch some of them. We wouldn't catch them all, and then you'd have the same problem. It's not like I, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know that there's any solution except build a garage. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we could build a garage and start parking in a garage. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, there you go. There's my problem. And if anybody has any solution or suggestion of a solution, please let me go. No. And otherwise, just pray for me because it breaks my heart. It really breaks my heart every time. And uh, so, um, the, the, the thing is, I was ready to get rid of my car because it sits low to the ground. But now it's happened in this truck and I'm like, okay, maybe it's just me. <laughs> it's, it's not the car. It's not the truck. I, I don't know. It's just me not knowing they're in there, but what do you do? Beat on the hood? Honk. We've tried that. We've beat on the hood and honked the horn. After it happened, I'd do that for a while, but then I slack off and forget to do it, so maybe I just need to remember to check every time, but uh, anyway, any suggestions, please comment. If you got an ugly comment, keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching and listening, and uh, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and watch us on Friday nights at 7 Central.